Hey guys, welcome back to the island life of us. If you've just discovered our channel, we are an Australian family living in the Solomon Islands. We share new stories of our island life every week and this episode is part two of our family holiday in one of the most incredible villages in the Western province. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know as soon as our new episodes are uploaded. This has been an action-packed trip and we hope you enjoy watching from home. Katie and I are heading out. We're gonna to go to a beautiful island out off the coast to go shoot some fish. It is approaching the Sabbath here, so when that happens, basically the whole village shuts down for 24 hours and they have to prepare all of their food um, beforehand. So this sort of is a bit of a way to give back to the community. Um, so yeah, we're heading out there today. The kids are gonna hang back here and play on the beach with Miri under this beautiful, amazing tree that's like right out the front of our bungalow. Oh, look at that little rainstorm. Bye, the kids are happy playing. Bye, have fun. Yeah, we'll get some fish. <laughs> Should be a good day. Let's go. What is it? Dumping. Oh. <laughs> is it a silly bird? <laughs> really? <laughs> you got What? Yeah, you can eat. Where? Where are we going? Yeah, are you gonna jump? Nice. Bye bye, Sophie.
Ale, what are you waiting? I like this piece. Is it a good fish? Yeah. Nice day today. Went for a big, um, what's it called? Big spear. Shoot. Big shoot. And yeah, it was nice to get off the island and without the kids. That coral was so beautiful. The coral was beautiful. And there was the sharks. so many fish and at first we didn't really see too many sharks and then there were a lot of sharks and we saw a silver tip and a silky, tons of whalers. It was, it was a lot of fun. Kept me in the water despite being freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> how's your dinner? Philly, how's your dinner? How is it? Is it good? Is it yummy? Also had an awesome afternoon at the Booney Tree, the kids doing their thing. Billy diving in the water, swimming around so well. Arlo jumped out of a tree like so high. It was amazing. Arlo was very brave. Arlo, how many jumps did we do? The swing, four. the swing counts as well. We did four. Did you jump from the high branch today? Yeah. Such a brave boy. It's been an epic day. We it's had a, going too quick. It's going way too quick, as it always does. We went out and had a huge shoot today. Just had the most amazing time out there. Yeah, the colour of the water, everything was just epic. It was so nice being out there. Got some fish for the village and the gang, and for dinner tonight. And yeah, just enjoying slowing down a bit. That's what this country is all about. That's what this place is all about. Been doing this for a while. What are you doing? Uh huh. Hold him up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. fish and chips, fish and chips, <laughs> fish and chips. Hey, hey. I forgot to ask kids who's going to shoot the biggest fish today? Daddy. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, is mummy going to get a doggy today? Oh, is that the dance, is it? Talk to me. Talk to you. Today's the day I'm going to shoot a doggy. Ready? Yeah, uh huh. Get over. That's all. That's all I have to say. Let's go. 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 Let's go
every Saturday, uh, family blow, mommy blow me, and Sabe come, and Nicola eat together. So sometimes about nearly 20 people. Yeah. yeah 15. 15. Yeah. The community here depend on the ocean for survival, with fish being one of their primary food sources. For us to contribute some fish for the village was a real privilege. We didn't feel like it was a lot, but these guys were so appreciative and happy to have just a little less work for their Friday afternoon. Being here with our friends in this tiny community in the wilderness reminds me to appreciate these small moments. Blue water, kids playing with leaves, perfect sunsets, and time spent with the people we love. Hi. What you doing? Preparing food for the Sabbath takes hours and hard work. It involves the entire family and uses many custom practices. Most of the fish and vegetables are prepared on the motu, which is a custom Solomon Earth oven, and some of the fish is smoked. How long now by him stay low there? By him until him dry. Wow. So long process. <laughs> <laughs> like 12 <laughs> hours, yeah? Yeah. Wow. So fire by him keep going, but time him, me, follow, me put him go this time by every, him drop, go him, water him dry. Mm -hmm. Then by me ten him over. Okay. So, so maybe like low morning by time him? Uh, no. The evening? In, maybe in one hour's time. Oh, Depend okay. on fire too. Okay. Uh -huh. Then just fire. leave him fire? Yeah. But to make him, him fast for him ten over, uh, for ten him or him cook quick cook time, you always put him fast fire. Oh, okay. So him heat blow. For trap him inside there? Yeah. But him, Okay, bye bye fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll dim, I'll dim. So come. So him and him don't smoke him so we come inside. Yeah. yeah? For bake, what now you cook it inside? Anything. Bread, bread, bun, cake, cake, sweet cake, oh. <laughs> birthday cake. Oh! Hem now blow more to ya? We are already planning our return to this beautiful village and we've been invited to join the family for a full traditional meal next time. Leave a fish emoji in the comments below to let me know if this is something that you would enjoy watching. Out of respect for the village, it was time for us to head home before the Sabbath bell and hopefully get these kids home and in bed before dark. Thank you. You ready to go home, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah, time to go home? From the window. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Uh, oh, double trouble. Oh, Bye 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 Philly. Yeah. Bye bye guys. Bye. Say bye guys. Bye.